And uh, what brings you here today? To preach the gospel and to teach the students the Bible, call them to repentance, to turn away from sin, and put their faith in Jesus Christ. I, we've had a very good turnout, and uh, I think the students need to ask themselves, why are they so disturbed by what we have to say? I think the fact that they're disturbed shows me that they really believe the Bible. If they didn't believe it, why are they so disturbed if it's just the opinion of some 72-year-old man? Uh, most of the stuff he's saying, some of the, some of the stuff is correct what he's saying, but most of the stuff is not. He's teaching hate, not love. God teaches love and care and compassion. He's teaching us that if you don't follow every rule in the Bible, you're going to hell. All you have to do is repent for your sins. He said he hasn't sinned in over 40 years. Clearly that's a lie because everybody sins every day. I do this every day. I'm on some campus somewhere, five hours a day, five days a week for the last 43 years. Uh, I'm with an organization called the Campus Ministry USA. Ah, they were. It was uh, some spirited uh, debate back and forth between the students and the, and the uh, preachers, or I guess you call them. So, uh, but it went okay. It's peaceful. Well, we're just watching everybody, making sure tensions don't get too high, and if somebody gets out of line, and you know, we don't want anybody to get hurt, we don't want anybody to get arrested or anything like that. So we're just, you know, when we when we come here, kind of to kind of keep some of that stuff from happening. If we weren't here, that could, you know, uh, could could erupt violence sometimes. You know, just never know. So so just our mere presence helps a whole lot of believe. I mean, it's a free speech thing, but I don't think that they should travel so far just to get their message across. I mean, like. Of course, you're going to have different varieties of people around campus. You're like you're going to have people who are non-Christian. You're going to have people who are atheist and agnostic and Muslim and all of these different things. But I don't think that they should drive like nine hours or a certain amount of hours to come here and protest. It's just complete bullshit. Some of the students uh, let us know and, and the people up here spread the word that uh, the haters were back in town. So we thought we'd come up here hopefully to try and thwart their efforts. But of course they have the right to speak. We have the right to speak too. And our government says we all do. These people are trying to push it where only their voice counts and the rest of us are going to be burned at the stake or put into a concentration camp or something if we just don't kowtow and see how to their specific religion. And earlier you, you was talking about how good of a person you are and stuff. No, you're so, I was real bad back then. Whoa! When we were in the state <laughs> that you were bad at I was a bad boy. Well. God turned me into a good boy. I was born again. You trust me.